Somebody talk to me. What's up, guys? Dr. Mike here. Saturday AM mass building back workout. Today is a vertical pull emphasis. We're gonna be doing probably some sort of assisted pull up or reps. Then we're gonna be doing, hopefully we can get in to some kind of an interesting pull down variation. You don't find it most gyms, hopefully the prime pull down, which is an awesome force curve. We'll talk about that in a bit. And then some kind of machine row, three exercises, three to four sets each, good to go. And then later today, we're gonna be doing, again, shoulders, biceps, and forearms. Oh, and yeah, I'm next to my Lambo. No big deal. Yeah, it's mine. Red, I love that color because it reminds me of blood and shit like that because I'm tough. Um, word up, yo, whatever sound Lambo makes, my Lambo. Lamborghini insurance does not pay for itself. I have 10 Lamborghinis. I wasn't lying. Hey folks, exercise number one, assisted pull-up. Why assisted since we're all strong enough to do pull-ups? It's so we can develop a better mind-muscle connection specifically with the pulling musculature like the lats, number one. And number two, to get more repetitions through sometimes a larger range of motion. So there's nothing magical about the assisted pull-up and if you can do and get great workouts out of regular pull-ups, which we often still do all the time, absolutely go for it. But the assisted pull-up can be an interesting tool to maximize SFR and get more strict repetitions. We'll start with this exercise and we'll move on from there. Three to four sets, sets of 10 to 20 reps. Let's do it. I uh, said uh, it's very comfortable. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh wow, it's got this pad too. Yeah, oh, this is great. <laughs> they made a machine for resting between sets of heavy compound movements. Oh, this is awesome. And you can kick your leg up too. All right, folks, more pull down volume, slightly less resistance, still in the 10 to 20 rep range, but we're more fatigued. We're gonna use the prime pull down today. It's a rare machine, highly effective, here's why. At the very top, unlike most back machines and free weight back training, the machine loads you significantly. At the bottom, closer to here, it loads you less, which matches the force curve of your actual vertical pulling movement super, super well. So you get a really high quality contraction here, tons of tension, and all the way through, instead of one end being really disproportionate to the other. A lot of people would say, hey, you should do band assisted pull-ups because you can do more reps, it's less weight. Unfortunately, the band literally flips the force curve backwards from what is optimal. So the band makes it easier at the top where it should be harder, and it makes it harder at the bottom where it should be much easier. The prime pull-down fixed this problem. If you have a chance to use one, do it. The stimulus to fatigue ratio for this thing is unbelievable. You gotta try it to believe it. But we're gonna do three or four sets, see how we feel. Let's get after it.
Hi, Dr. Mike here. We are doing a prime seated row for our third movement here today for AM session on Saturday. Uh, this is after, what the fuck do we do? Assisted pull-ups and prime pull-downs. So this is, this is kind of tax the backs a little more. And yeah, let's get to it. I've been replaced. All right, folks, that was the back workout. Three or four sets of assisted pull-ups, three or four sets of pull-downs, essentially, and then three or four sets of machine rows. Could have done free weight rows, could have done barbell rows. A lot of times we do just one of those free weight barbell rows a week, like you did this week. And because our leg training and our back training taxes the lumbar area so much and the spinal erector so much, that a lot of times we opt for a machine row, a little bit less taxation, especially in the lower lumbar area. So that's the workout. This is workout number nine of 10 workouts of the week, Saturday AM. We're gonna come back later today in the PM and hit the last of three shoulder, bicep, and forearm training sessions. We are tired, we are beat up. It's how you should feel at the end of a training week. We get Sunday off, we'll feel much better get into the next week of training and or if it's your peak week, you get into deload. See you in a few.